We're talking to Gregory Jabara, who has just won the Drama Desk for Best Featured Actor in a Musical for Billy Elliot. Um, you've been working on Broadway for quite a long time. Do you want to tell us about your first Broadway experience? Uh, yeah, my first Broadway job was uh, in the ensemble of uh, Carol Churchill's play, Serious Money, which transferred here from the Royal Court Theater. Uh, we f I first did it uh, at the at Joe Papp's Public Theater uh, under the direction of Max Stafford Clark, and I understudied uh, John Pankow when uh, the, the show moved to Broadway and the uh, original English cast was uh, replaced by American actors. Uh, that's, the, that's when my friendship with Johnny Pankow started too. Uh, the show um, was not as critically received by Frank Rich in its Broadway incarnation as it was in its off-Broadway run, and it closed a week after we opened. So um, my uh, open standing account at JR's restaurant uh, was closed immediately. <laughs> and then a number of years later, we're back to being a British person in Billy Elliot. Do you have a particular affinity for playing Brits? Uh, you know, no, but I, I, I'm having a hard time getting a Broadway job where I don't have some dialect. I, I, I was French in Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, and uh, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, a, a Broadway job where I get to use my, uh, my Michigan nasality. Tell us a little bit about working with the different boys who play Billy Elliot, because you have four, I believe now possibly five young men who are rotating through the role that you have to adjust to every night. I mean, to me, that must be the most challenging thing as an actor. You know, it, it really isn't. Um, the boys are, uh, they've all been well directed to hit the important uh, story points that we need. And uh, although Hayden and I will have a different response to that question, because I know she has much more dialogue, where I I'm either uh, beating and dragging the boys around on stage or, you know, in awe of them uh, silently. So. Um, the physical world that we have, I think, allows for a lot more freedom on stage, and so the boys are really beautiful at bringing their own selves to the role, and it really is not uh, work at all. It's, it's, it's really refreshing and, and, and a gift, actually, to be able to do it with several different actors. And you also have, uh, in the second act, a little bit of a drunk scene. Um, is that a fun thing for an actor? It's really freeing. <laughs> it is. Uh, you know, because then you know the one. <laughs> I, mean, I think one of the actors' nightmares is to you know one day find yourself having to be on stage and you are intoxicated. I, I'm relieved that that only happened early in my career. Uh, no, it's 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 great fun, and it is uh, definitely one of my more favorite parts of the show for me to be able to uh, share that moment with the audience. Well, I think one of the audience's favorite moments, but it really also shows the vulnerability of your character. Yeah. It, yes. It's 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 beautiful that way. Uh, I. I, I I, I can say that I, I wouldn't. I don't know that if it wasn't for my my actual wife and my own two sons who fuel my uh, heart and my own life. Uh, uh, without them, I don't know that I'd have uh, the depth to really be able to serve that moment. So I'm grateful for them for me to giving me what I need to be able to play that role. Well, we're grateful that you did Billy Elliot this year, and we got to see this remarkable performance. Congratulations again. Thanks very much.